Hi everyone and welcome back here. Let's pick one of these images to create it. And I think I can start with this one. Let's open it. It's very easy. Let's learn how uh, to create something like this. All right, as we learned, let's split the area to two area like this. And let's change the editor to image editor. So we can add image right here. Bring the folder, click and drag and put this right here and there we go now we have the image make it small like this all right that's cool all right now let's see how can we create this as we said don't worry about the units or about the size of the cube just try to create something without any uh, restriction so let's grab this cube I just need to uh, push this up just a little bit so I will hit number one from the number to jump to the orthographic front view number one and hit G to move and Z to move it to the Z axis and just move it just a little bit like this and there we go all right so now we have the cube as you see here it's not cube it's I think it's rectangle so here we have the I think this is the width and let's say this is the length so the length is bigger than the width so I just need to scale this just a little bit grab the box and scale to the Y to scale this to the Y hit S to scale and now I'm scaling but I'm scaling to the whole axis hit Y from the keyboard and scale it just a little bit like this so now we got this result when you complete the scaling just keep in your mind to apply the scale well, what does that mean i will take a copy of this to take a copy hit shift with d to take a copy and move the copy to the x-axis i just need to give you an example what i will do is i will scale this to the z for example like this or I will take another copy, shift D. I will put the new copy right here and I will start with this, with this one. Hit S to the Z. I just need to scale it to the Z. And I will leave this as is. So let's start with this one. I will tap to the edit mode and go to the edge. And I will grab this edge and this edge and I will bevel them. So control B to bevel and bevel them. As you see, the bevel is not correct. It's not working correctly. All right, let's go to this one. Select this one, hold shift, and grab this one as well. Tap to the edit mode. Grab this edge with this one, and this one, and this one. Let's bevel them all. Control B. All right. Try to uh, try to notice the difference between the bevel uh, to the cube that I scaled and to to the to the small one. This the small cube is working correctly without any distortion or any problem when I bevel it but the tall one the bevel is not working on it correctly so that's mean we have problem in the scale so because of that if you want to avoid this kind of problem you need to apply the scale so to do this I will tab out grab this one hit control A or before I do that I will Keep D take another copy just to give you an example. So I will grab this one and hit Control A to open the apply menu and apply the scale. Alright, so I just apply the scale to this one, but not this one. So in this case, I will grab this, hold here to grab this, tap to the edit mode. So with these edges selected, I will bevel them again. As you see now, sorry. As you see now. The bevel now is working correctly for this one without any problem but here as you see here the bevel is not working here because we scaled this and we didn't apply the scale for it so just keep that in your mind when you scale anything apply the scale to uh, to avoid any kind of problem when you bevel or do anything else that's very important
All right, so let's delete all of these. Let's go back here, grab this, control A, apply the scale, and tab now. All right, let's go to the face. All right, grab this face, hold shift to grab this face, and you grab this face. I need to delete these faces. As you see right here, I don't have faces here, so I need to delete those. All right, so you can grab them one by one, or what you can do is you can hit Alt Z to switch to the X ray mode and grab these three faces and turn off the X ray mode Alt Z. All right, you can do this, or you can pick them one by one. After that, hit X to open the delete menu and choose delete faces. You can hit X and then F for phase deletes. So, what I'm going to do is XF to delete them like this, or X and choose the face. All right, that's cool. Let's jump now to the edge mode because I need to bevel this edge and this edge. Hit number two to jump to the edge mode. So grab those, hit control B to bevel and bevel them. So I will bevel, bevel them almost right here and then I will rotate the wheel of the mouse to add segment here. All right, so these segments are something nice. So just hit left click again to confirm it and I think that's nice, cool. I got something similar to this. If you are not satisfied with the result, open the bevel menu and take this number back if you like. Something like this, all right, and close it. That's nice. All right, so that's cool, but I have another problem here. I have a thickness right here in the image. We have a thickness in this area. How can we achieve it right here? All right, let's see how can we achieve this. Let's go to the face, hit A, select all of these faces, and then let's use the extrude. To extrude, all right, what's extrude? I'm just going to give you an example. I'm going to add a new cube right here, and I'm going to move it right here to understand what's extrude. Tap to the edit mode, and I will grab this face. Extrude to extrude, hit E from the keyboard to achieve the extrude. Extrude will create a new face from the face. So hit E to extrude this. I can grab this one. Hit E to extrude it. When you hit E, you can move the mouse to uh, to determine the height of the extrusion. And you can add number if you like. If you notice right here, I have these numbers here in this area. All right. So hit E to extrude and extrude this up like this. You can grab this one and extrude it like this and hit E again to extrude it. And you grab this, hit E to extrude it like this. Grab this, hit E. All right. Maybe I can extrude this again. Grab this face, hit E to extrude it. So as you see, by using the extrude command alone, we got this shape, complex shape. So let's see how can we use the extrude on this object right here. So tab out, grab this, hit delete to delete it. All right, so let's select this one, tab again now. After that, hit E to extrude. All right, now we have extrusion, but we got problem. The extrusion is goes to one direction. And this kind of extrude is not gonna help me, all right? So hit Control Z. What I need to do, I need another kind of extrude to extrude these faces to the normal of these faces. I mean the result. I want the result to be like this. I need this face to be extruded inside, and this one inside, and this one inside, and all of these faces that I have here should be extruded like this. All right. Notes goes down all of them. This is the idea. All right, in this case, I need to open the extrude menu. To open the extrude menu, hit Alt with E to open extrude menu and choose extrude faces along normals. So hit this option, choose it, and then move the mouse just a little bit inside if you want to make the movement slow, just hold shift to make the movement slow of the extrusion. Hold shift. And there we go. Just give it a bit of thickness. 
and when you will be satisfied you can accept it that's it all right now we have this menu pops up here we have an option to fix the offset all right what that means is i'm going to give you an example here all right i will keep this activated for this one i will tab out and i will add another cube just to give you an example i will move this right here tap to the edit mode and let's grab this face with this one with this one hit x f to delete them and let's stick with this one hit a to grab all of these faces alt e to open extrude menu and extrude along normal and extrude this all right so now we got this result let's go to the front and let's see what we have here all right if you noticed i have some variation here in the depth the area right here is not equal to the area right here this area is very uh, thin as compared with this one because of that we need this option to fix this issue all right so in this case i will all activate the offset even and that's gonna fix this area here and this area the corners keep your eyes right here when i activate the offset even all right so activate it as you see this is the difference so i need the same result happening right here i need the extrusion to be even here in the corners because of that i activated the offset even for this geometry all right so grab this delete it we don't need it all right so now we have the extrusion and ready but we got another problem here we have the shading is flat in this case scenario what we can do is grab this right click shade smooth and now it's become very smooth so we got another problem here we have 90 degree angle here in this area and it's smooth i don't need that so in this case i'm going to activate the auto smooth here so let's do that let's go here and let's go to the normal and activate auto smooth and cool that's very nice we got very nice result right here all right all right now what we need is we need to duplicate it and scale them because if you notice here each one of these is uh each one of them is uh, smaller than the other all right let's grab this one I will duplicate it so as we learned shift with d and move it right here so we have a new copy let's go to the front view hit number one hit s to scale it and scale it just a little bit like this all right and hit g and take this down with on the ground and push this back and hit shift d again to take an, to take another kobe let's put this right here hit number one and scale this hit g and take this down all right when we made the scale we got a, another problem we have now a variation in the thickness all right so we have the variation here the thickness of this one is bigger than this and this all right you can accept this result if you like but if you want something accurate you can you can hit shift d for example you can grab this first and you can do something here if you like you can grab these faces starting with this one hold control grab this hold control grab this so you can grab these faces and delete the other faces i'm gonna show you what i mean to inverse the selection you can hit control i to inverse selection after that delete these faces hit x f to delete them and now i got this after that you can duplicate those and scale them let's go to the front i can't see anything because it's like a paper but don't worry push this bag inside here in the right view you can see them if you like hit g to the z to move them and put them on the ground so now we have this copy 
shift D to duplicate it, hit right click to leave it in the same place, copy above copy, and then hit S to scale the new one, like this, go to the right, as you see it's not attached to the ground, hit G to the Z and take this to the ground, right here, alright. Alright, that's cool. After that, we can manipulate the thickness now. We can give them a thickness. So grab this with this, tap to the edit mode, hit A, but don't forget to apply the scale before that. Tap out, control A, and apply the scale for this and this and this one. So let's grab them all. Tap to the edit mode and hit A to select all the faces. Hit Alt E and choose extrude along normal. And let's do this for all of these. And there we go. Now we have we have the same thickness for all of these. When you be satisfied, activate the offset even. Tap out and that's it. Alright, so cool, very cool and nice. And actually, I have very nice trick here, if you want to learn it, for this scenario that we have here. What we can do is we can push these faces again if you want, and I'm going to teach you how can you do this. Alright, let's start with this one, hit tab, and select this face, hold control, grab this, and hold control, grab this to grab these faces between. There is a very nice trick here in Blender, you can use it. You can hit Alt with S to push the faces towards their normal. Alright, so that's similar to the extrude, but it's not extruding, just pushing the faces. So if you want to do this, you can go to the front view if you like. Hit Alt S, alright, to give it a bit of thickness. Alright, cool. We fixed this. You can grab this one, tap with this face selected. You can go to the front, hit number one from the number, hit Alt S, and push this just a little bit. Alright, so now we got a close result here. Alright, so that's it, and see you next.